go, getting this out. Once you start it, it's not too bad. It's just getting it actually started. If you can get it all off in one lump, it always makes it easier. Well, if you try and rip it too hard, it will just break off and you'll end up with lots of little bits sticking, sticking to it afterwards. But we can clean the odd little bits afterwards. Well, that's most of that off there. It's not too bad. A couple of little bits which I'll get off. That's what you're trying to get off. If you just spend a few minutes cleaning it, it pays dividends later. Right, I'm going to clean those last little bits off in a sec. Let's do this other bit. So, put that to one side. Let's have a look at this bit. Yep, yeah, this needs a good trim. So, we're looking to, we'll come back here, square that off. Keep that to one side. This again here, we'll square that off. It's just, it looks nicer when you present it at the end. Uh, there's a little bit of instrument fat there. Take that off. You want to keep some of this fat because it will render down. So. That looks fine. That's okay. Spin her over. We've got a little bit here. That needs cutting off. Obviously watching your fingers. Do without losing a finger. Good. And now we're going to peel this back off again. There we go, getting this out. Once you start it, it's not too bad. It's just getting it actually started. If you can get it all off in one lump always makes it easier. If you try and rip it too hard it will just break off and you'll end up with lots of little bits sticking, sticking to it afterwards but we can clean the odd little bits afterwards. Well, that's most of that off there. It's not too bad. A couple of little bits which I'll get off. That's what you're trying to get off. If you just spend a few minutes cleaning it, it pays dividends later. Right, I'm going to clean those last little bits off in a sec. Let's do this another bit. So one side. Let's have a look at this bit. Yep, yeah, this needs a good trim. So we're looking to, we'll come back here, square that off, keep that to one side. This again here, we'll square that off. It's just, it looks nicer when you present it at the end. Uh, there's a little bit of Instrument fat there, take that off. You want to keep some of this fat because it will render down. So, that looks fine. That's okay. Spin her over. 
put a little bit here. And that needs cutting off. Obviously, watching your fingers. Do without losing a finger. Started this one again here. Grab that again. See it pulling back. Do not need that. Okay, right. They're uh, trimmed them up pretty good, both of them. Just give them a little bit of a pat down, a little bit of a dry off. Right. <clears throat> Time to get some seasoning on. <coughs> I'm going to use a bit of American mustard, but you can use French or Dijon. Uh, it's only as a binder, you won't really taste it, so. <coughs> Could use olive oil, but. Um, Not much point, I, I prefer this. Pick her over. Right, we'll start on the backs first. Let's just move that over there to a little bit. Okay, so um, now we're going to use um, our seasoning. Now the seasoning I've got in here, if you want to make it, is half a cup of brown sugar, three tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of pepper, um, ground pepper, um, two tablespoons of paprika, I think I'll put two and a half in there because I like paprika. Uh, one and a half tablespoons of cumin, one and a half tablespoons of onion powder, um, and um, what else have we got? Oh, and um, one and a half tablespoons of garlic powder. Um, get that all together, and that'll make your your rub. on there. Once I've done this I'm going to let this um, going to let these um, sit in the in the fridge for probably about four hours um, and the salt in there and draw all the moisture out or towards the set, so the surface of it. And the flavours are start getting in, so I flip these over now. And we'll start on this side. Don't be shy about putting it on. Try and cover everywhere. Pat it down. Well, 
do here. Get the sides. I'm going to coat up this meat as well. Um, we'll cook that separately. I'm, I'm probably going to cook that. You can grind it up, but I'm going to um, cook it separately. Um, so I season that as well. So that looks pretty good. And what we'll do is, if I give this tray a quick wipe out. <coughs> We're going to put these back in the tray here. A quick look inside, and it's all looking pretty nice at the moment. I'll just give it a little quick spritz. So I'm going to shut that back up again, and we'll have a look in about another hour. Okay, so we're going to go back out in the garden again. Let's have a look. There we go. I've wrapped them. They're actually, they've been on for about two hours, 20 minutes now. Um, so I've wrapped them. And I've put about two tablespoons, maybe three per rib rack. Uh, in of apple juice into the um, into that tin foil, and then um, wrapped them with the meat down, so that obviously it soaks into the um, into the meat. And I've chucked them back in again, and uh, we'll let them have another cook for about another two hours, and uh, then we'll um, take them out and have a look. Well, there we go. What can I say? The, um, they've turned out okay. Yeah. There's a bone. That's how. Now I can actually just pick that out. That. Taste. Mm. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, I hope you like this um, video. But um, there you go. Ribs. <laughs>